Perfect. All right. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for, for joining us today. Um, it's a beautiful Wednesday here in, in Edmonton. So hopefully it's nice where, wherever you are in our, our lovely province. Um, you know, I'm very happy to announce we got a, a brand new RMA program to, to announce to everybody. And that is our um, area program that we went out to RFP this, this spring. Um, AMI, AMI Rockchain was a successful vendor in that bid. Um, so we got a, a great, great new program, great value props. They're going to, you know, run through that today. Um, you know, just some housekeeping things. As always, this will be recorded. So if you want to refer back to it, um, it'll be on the RMA Trade website um, under our, our webinar section. So you can watch this one. You can watch all the previous webinars we've recorded. Um, some other news at RMA that we have coming down the pipeline is um, we are we finished up our, our waste and waterworks RFP. So that is going to be coming out here in the short order. June 1st is our launch date with that program. And we'll be having a, a webinar to introduce some of the vendors with that as well. So you know, we have you know continuous things coming through the pipeline. Um, so we're we're hoping that these these programs fit your need and you know can offer some you know cost savings and maybe some some administrative savings as well. So um, as always, if you do have any questions, please type them in the, the Q&A box. Um, we'll save them for the end. We'll, we'll let AMI run through their presentation and then you know, comment throughout and question throughout. And then at the end, I'll go through and I'll act as a moderator and, and you know, read the question and, and pose it to the, to the group there. So, um, so I'm, I'm excited to, to have with us today, um, Dana Archibald, who is the president of AMI Rockchain, um, Paul Le Le Levier, he's the VP in Business and Resource Development, um, and Anthony Beeling, which is a, he is the key account executive. So we're very very happy to have AMI with us today. And on that note, I'll pass it off to uh, to Dana to to run through it. Excellent, thanks, Tyler, and uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for taking part and uh, and joining us here today. Uh, we've actually been quite excited about this uh, presentation ever since. Uh, uh, the initiation of the aggregates group buying program back in April. So uh, we're finally here and uh, really excited to roll this out to the RMA members. Uh, just a couple of items here. So we're going to uh, be providing a demonstration of the Rockchain platform um, that Paul's going to complete. And that's really going to be the exciting part of this, uh, this presentation, um, where we're going to talk about the supply and delivery of aggregates. Um, but before we jump into the demo, I uh, just wanted to cover off on a couple of items here. So a little bit about AMI's history. Uh, the services that we provide through the group buying program and the overall benefits of using AMI Rockchain uh, for your aggregate needs. And so to start off, uh, Athabasca Minerals Inc. Uh, is the uh, parent company of AMI Rockchain. Uh, we've been in the aggregate business uh, for the better part of a quarter century. We got our start managing aggregate pits on behalf of the government of Alberta and expanded into the development of our own pits and quarries as well as completing pit management services for First Nation businesses and community partners. We are a full cycle aggregates company uh, from prospecting, regulatory and environmental permitting, uh, you know, completing resource modeling and mine planning, and then all the way through to the mining, crushing, trucking, and finally uh, pit reclamation. With regards to AMI Rock Chain, um, it is our digital platform for the purchase and transportation of aggregates which has grown to also offer aggregate related services um, to our clients and supplier base. We incorporated AMI Rockchain three years ago, largely to support our clients that were completing projects outside of AMI's geographical region. Since inception, uh, AMI Rockchain has developed a network of over 7,000 aggregate suppliers and nearly 2,000 trucking companies across Western Canada, uh, from Vancouver Island all the way to Ontario. We got our start in Alberta, and as such, we have thousands of suppliers and a robust aggregate econometrics uh, to serve our RMA members. Since August of 2019, AMI Rockchain has completed over $400 million worth of aggregate bids, creating over 6,000 unique data points of regional econometrics in our system that we maintain and then we add to um, uh, for every bid that we complete. Uh, the market intelligence, as it relates to aggregates, is provided to our clients to show trends in the regional markets. And by leveraging our network and regional econometrics, we're able to provide uh, the RMA members with an optimal price and delivery solution for all your aggregate requirements. 
back in 2020, uh, AMI uh, Rockchain acquired TerraShift Engineering, which provides resource, environmental, and regulatory engineering services to the aggregate industry. TerraMaps, uh, our mapping and resource application, actually powers our Rockchain platform. And then moving to the trade program. So as a delivery partner for the group buying program, AMI Rockchain offers the following services. Aggregate supply and delivery. The Rockchain network includes all the licensed pits on both public and private lands in Alberta with access to these, to these uh, thousands of aggregate suppliers across the province, including local producers and with a focus on local producers. Our network provides a full range of dimensional and specialty aggregate products to meet your construction and maintenance needs. By leveraging our network and regional econometrics, which we continuously update with every bid, AMI Rockchain is able to provide our clients with optimal pricing and delivery solution on each and every project. The other benefit of our regional market intelligence is that Rockchain can help municipalities with their budget forecasting using the most up-to-date pricing metrics. We guarantee the quality and quantity of the products that we deliver. AMI Rockchain has an internal quality department, including quality technicians, as well as a network of third-party quality laboratories to ensure that all products produced and delivered uh, to your project meet the designated engineering specifications and quantities ordered. We also ensure the safe delivery of our aggregates through our transportation uh, pre-qualification program, where we confirm insurance coverage, vehicle inspection certifications, and client-specific requirements are met prior to the delivery of any of our products to your worksite. And with that, we're gonna to move to slide four. So for the RMA members that have or have access to aggregate resources, we offer the following value added services. Regulatory and environmental engineering. So for RMA members that know that they have aggregates within their municipalities, we can assist you with identifying aggregate deposits through remote sensing, um, our predictive software and field verification. We also complete resource exploration, testing, and then using that information to model your, your resources. We also can complete uh, regulatory and environmental applications for gravel pits and quarries on both public and private lands. This includes uh, the completion of conservation operation reclamation plans, code of practices for uh, public land or for private lands, as well as water act applications, biophysical and wetland assessments. We also complete compliance monitoring and reporting on your existing pits, roads, and laydowns, as well as reclamation reporting and monitoring for your depleted assets. With regards to the pit management services, uh, we offer everything from clearing, stripping, and mining, uh, crushing, loading, scaling, drone services, as well as quantity control and inventory management, and on-site uh, on site and third party laboratory quality testing um, as needed on your sites. So, the municipal group buying program for aggregates saves you time and money. When you're using AMI Rockchain through this program, the tendering process for aggregates has already been completed on your behalf. And so, with that, we'll get to the exciting part of the demonstration uh, where Paul's going to provide us a demonstration of our Rockchain tool. Thanks, Dana. Uh, I'm just going to swap over to the actual application now. Um, so yeah, what uh, what I'm showing you here is actually the uh, Rockchain 2.0 platform. Um, in this was released back in uh, April of uh, 2021 here, so it's it's been running for about a month. Previous to this version, they ran on the what was called the 1.0 platform, and that was what really got Rockchain going. And over the last year, we've developed uh, this new platform, which is the 2.0 platform, and it brings a great deal of automation and efficiencies to the system. And this is what you guys will be able to take advantage of uh, when you join the RMA buying program there. Um, so like I said, this is the uh, back office administrative side to it. So what we're actually seeing is all the different uh, pit supply points in the system. All these are all the orange dots on the screen. All the blue dots are actually uh, historical orders that have been submitted into the system. So as you can see, we have lots of different orders that, uh, that we can use to help you guys understand the price points for aggregates in your different regions. 
Um, so what I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to switch over to what you guys would see as, a, as an external user uh, and as a member of the, uh, the buying program. So what, what you get is uh, the same type of interface. So it's a user friendly interface. It's designed to be mobile friendly, tablet friendly uh, without any application to install, just runs directly in your browser. Um, additionally, any information that you supply into the system is only available to yourself and the back office administrative team with Rockchain. So you don't have to worry about, you know, we're not posting this to the, to the world to see whatever requests that you make into the system are only available and accessible to yourself and the people that uh, run the actual Rockchain platform in the back office to supply your needs. Um, so, so what I was going to say here is uh, one of the ways that say you have uh, a project that you need to uh, get materials for, uh, what you can do is you can go to the search bar up here and click search. You can search in two different ways. You can submit a legal land location uh, using the quarter section and the typical uh, range and township and all that information. Or you could also just do a location search just like you would with Google. So let's say I have a project near Rumsey that I need to uh, submit a request for for aggregates. And just type it in, click enter, and it zooms to that location on the map. Um, additionally, I can turn on an aerial map here with this bottom left-hand corner, turn it into a satellite map view. I can turn it back just the same way, just clicking that. Additionally, what you have available to you, because in the back end, this is being powered by our TerraMaps platform from a geospatial platform. Uh, we actually have access to a bunch of different layers. So things like your county lines, uh, if I zoom out a little bit, you can see those lines here on the map. Uh, you can also have access to the railways, pipelines, and all that other information. So let's say we want to actually go through and submit an order in the system. Um, so I'm going to zoom in here to the place where I want to actually get to aggregates delivered. Uh, let's say you're a county and you actually need to do some highway maintenance or road, road maintenance on this, on this range road here. How would you go into actually supplying a, or requesting aggregates into the system? All you would need to do is click request and then aggregates. This opens up our request tab on the right hand side. It's a six step process into procuring aggregates for the for your uh, for your needs. The first step you have is you want to set your pin location. So all you do is you click the set pin, you go into the map. Let's say we want our aggregates delivered to this location. I click on the map where I want them delivered. It'll automatically pull in the lat long as well as the physical address of where that's located. If I want to adjust these, I can actually type into this into these as well. If I have specific lat longs that I want or an address that I want, I can put those in as well. Or if I want to move the point, I just click and drag on the map. Let's say actually I want it delivered to this corner point here. It'll update this information automatically just like that. The next point you want to put in is when you want your quote deadline by. So you can actually request same day pricing. That's fine. Uh, but let's say you want to get a, the most optimal solution. So you want to actually network the market and get the best pricing possible. So let's say I want to get a quote return for me uh, in two weeks time. I would just go to two weeks to the 26th of May. I click that, it adds it to the system. I click next. And this is where we go and start adding our materials that we need for this project. So to add materials, what you would start with is you click the, this green plus button. This opens up our material dialog. And within here, this is where we start uh, selecting our products type, specification, designations. So you start by selecting your main product type. So like let's pick a gravel and then you want to pick a type of gravel that you want to supply so let's say we're going to need some road crush for this job and then you can also specify either like alberta transportation specs if uh, you have them uh, or if you want to type in your designation directly you can just type in des 20 for instance and then you can specify a size and the units for sizes are inches and millimeters i'm going to pick millimeters in this case and then you also want to specify how much you want. So let's say I want 5,000 and there's three different units you can select by cubic meter, tons or yards. I'm going to select tons. And then if you have additional notes, you can actually supply them right there. I don't have any notes for this one. So I'm going to click submit. You can see it gets added to the system on the right hand side here. If I want to get rid of it, I just click the X button. Um, but let's, let's go through and add a few more products so you can see the process uh, for different types. So let's pick sand. I'm going to pick a screen sand. And I don't have any designation or specification for this. I also don't have to put in the size if I don't want to. Um, but let's say I want to put in 2,500 2, tons of this as well. And then I can just do this for all the products I need. Let's say I also need some riprap for this job, class one. 
Uh, I don't have any size or spec it does for it, but let's say I want 500 tons. I'm gonna do some erosion control around this project. And then I'm also want maybe some clay fill. So let's put in some clay, put in some fill, and then I'll put in the quantity. Let's say I want 3,500. And I'm actually gonna pick cubic meters for this. And if you actually have notes, you can, like I said, you can put them in here. So sometimes with clay, you might actually wanna specify, you know, lab certified clean. Um, and when you're happy with that, you just click submit, that gets added to the system. And once you have all your products that you've added and you're, you're ready to move to the next step, just click next. And this is the part where you start putting your project details. So I'm gonna call this uh, Range Road 211 uh, Prepare. When do you actually need your products delivered by? So this is when you're actually gonna be completing construction. Um, let's say we're gonna start construction of this job on the 19th of July. So I put that in as the delivery detail date. Um, and then who's your site contact? If you have one, you can put in here. If you don't have uh, another person to put in, you can just put yourself. If you're the person that would be uh, the contact for this job, your phone number and your email. And then any delivery notes. So this is also where you can specify, say you have specific requirements for uh, truck delivery. So you could say, you know, side dump. Then you can also put in details like tw call 24 hours before delivery. Well, uh, if you have specific spec files like specifications, uh, sieve or gradation curves that you want to add to this uh, request as well, you can also click this browse button and actually uh, upload files into the system here as well. Or you can just drag them right into this box and it'll be uploaded uh, and add to the, to the order. I don't have anything to add to this order, so I don't, I'm not going to. Uh, add any files, but uh, if you do, you can just add them that way right there. Uh, now I'm going to go next. And this is the last step actually for, for information to enter. This is just the buyer details. So what you would most likely want to do is just autofill with your profile. I don't have my profile completely filled out for this one. So I'm just going to walk through how, what you would type in here. So let's pretend I'm County ABC and I, my address is went to Fake Street and Town and Province. I'll put AB actually because we're in Alberta. And then your actual postal code. And then your phone number. And what you can do here is also a fake, say you have a specific accounts payable department that needs to be notified about the, any kind of orders. You could put their their uh, their or their email there as well so that we know that that's con con connected with the buyer details, right? So this is what, who would be contacted for any kind of billing information. Um, so now we're ready to go next. Uh, in this last step, you actually review your order, make sure that everything that you submit into the system is exactly what you're actually wanting to order. Once you're happy with that, uh, you just click submit. This will actually submit this order into the system. And once you get your uh, success notification, you can see that uh, that just popped up. Uh, now I know that it's actually been ordered in the system and I can also download a PDF. If I click that, that'll download a PDF to my computer. This PDF is also uh, email to you upon like when you submit your order. So I'll, I'll be getting an email shortly here. If I open up this PDF, it just gives a breakdown of everything I've entered into the system for my own records and also uh, contact information should I need to make any adjustments to this order. Uh, I can actually just email this, uh, this, phone, this email here or I can call them uh, directly there. Um, and then on the map, I can see now that my order is in the system, I can click on it. And if I go, if I zoom out a little bit and go to my listing manager, I can actually see the order is on my listing manager as well. And this is where you can actually monitor all the different listings uh, or submissions that you put into the system. Uh, and if you click on it, you can zoom to the location of your order. So if you have lots of orders in the system, you can quickly uh, figure out where they are. You can expand them to see what materials uh, you've requested uh, for this order. And then additionally, you can click on the map to see uh, the drop details that you provided. So you have a record of everything that you submitted uh, available to you as well through this system. And then Additionally, what you can do is you can actually track the status. So as this moves forward into the through the queue, uh, as the order is being processed, you'll see status updates here. It'll move from active to quoted to uh, to executed and completed um, in your status window there. 
And what we actually do on our back end is any order that's submitted into the system, we actually look at it, uh, verify that it has all the information required to fulfill properly. And once it is, we will mark it as active and verify it as a, as a good order. And uh, you'll see that updated here in your, in your system on your end. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna hand it over to uh, Anthony and he's gonna show you uh, how we, uh, what happens once, we, once you submit an order to the system and what, what, what we do to get you guys the best pricing for your products. Thanks, Paul. Um, as Paul just demonstrated, an aggregate request can be made in minutes. Blockchain is easy to use and it saves valuable time and money. Once a request is made in the rock chain, our process driven backend gets to work for you. It all starts with the customer pin portal, the project identifier in need. It's location specific and the resources needed. Once rock chain verifies the pin, rock chain's market meter pulls the regional econometrics for aggregates and trucking around the pin, plus or minus 200 kilometers. Powered by Terra Maps, our trucking and supplier network has all the registered pits, public and private, in the system. Our network is updated on a regular basis, keeping our data and the econometrics current in the chain. Our quote generator then auto transmits quotes to pits and truckers resourced around that pin. Uh, frequently asked question, or do suppliers need to pay to be part of the rock chain network? The simple answer is no. Our bid builder then recombines the pit and trucking quotes into a master bid list. And then with the cooperative purchasing program, we have a not to exceed price based on regional econometrics that has been established. Our solution seeker is an algorithm that then finds the optimal solution within the bid builder. Depending on the request, pit and trucking, or if you just need trucking or, or supply, this optimal solution is often lower than the not to exceed price and the pricing is then passed on to the members. Our rock chain prequal then kicks in where we screen our suppliers for financial, safety, and quality. Rock chain verifies that all materials are within specification prior to delivery. Then our PO generator will auto automatically generate POs to the best pit trucking combo. Our operational Excel excellence kicks in and where we track and record all jobs and projects within the system. And another big advantage of the Rockchain platform is our just-in-time delivery option, reducing the need for members to stockpile materials in advance. So the benefits of the buy-in program through, through the RMA is you know, the RMA participated in issuing a request for proposal for aggregate supply with related services in September 9th, 2020. AMI Rockchain, as a successful proponent, included a not to exceed price list for various aggregate materials based on regional econometrics. RMA has covered steps one through nine on this slide on behalf of their members as an outcome of the RFP process. All that remains for a member is to post a request for aggregates, trucking, or a value added service on the Rockchain platform. Next one. The Rockchain Advantage for RMA members, you gain access to thousands of aggregate suppliers across Canada with a focus on local producers within the project region. A huge range of prod products, including gravel, sand, clay, and other aggregate related materials, including winter sand. Optional regulatory and resource engineering services through TerraShift Engineering, a division of AMI Rockchain, preferential pricing on annual rock chain platform subscription fees, aggregate materials, and engineering services. You gain greater accuracy in cap levy accounting and reporting, and as mentioned, already tendered on your behalf by the RMA. Participating in the aggregate cooperative purchasing program with AMI rock chain is as easy as one, two, three, four, five. One, contact your sales team at 1833.rock or email us at sales at amirockchain.com. Two, let us know that you want to use the cooperative procurement program. Three, post an annual notice of intention of membership to your designated tendering website and link to the appropriate municipal association. Uh, basically post to um, Alberta Purchasing Connection or whichever trade program you're using. Five, start using Rockchain to get access to hundreds of aggregate suppliers across Canada, including local producers preferential pricing on a huge range of products, including gravel, sand, clay, other aggregate related materials, 
again, including winter sand, optional regulatory and resource engineering services through TerraShift Engineering, a division of AMI Rockchain, greater accuracy and budget through monthly and annual reporting. Thanks, Paul, Dana, and everyone who's in attendance. Uh, if you want a personal demonstration of the system, we'd be happy to do so by request at 1833.rock or email us at sales at amirockchain.com. Uh, with that, I will now open it up to questions. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much, uh, AMI Rockchain. Uh, you know, Paul, Dana, and Anthony, there was a great presentation. It's, it's a very, very unique, unique product offering. So, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're excited to bring it to the, to our members here. And um, yeah, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the, the Q and A box or, or the chat box. Um, and then, then I'll read them out. Currently we don't have any, so you guys just did such a great job of, of covering it, but um that's great you know the uh, i'll maybe just reiterate what anthony said there as well is that uh um we definitely want to want to uh work with uh any of the rms one-on-one -on -one. so so if you do have any questions but uh don't feel like putting them up there today definitely reach out to us and we'd love to uh do a, a more in-depth uh demonstration with you here at some future point in time actually i i have a, i have a question for you guys and i know this because um one of the counties kind of near the, the Saskatchewan border asked this one of me a, a while back. Um, you know, how do you, how do you guys deal with that, that border thing? If you're pulling from a pit to, from Saskatchewan into Alberta and, and, or, and, or vice versa, if you're maybe selling, selling some out of your pit into there, how does the, the taxes work? How does, you know, with that, um, you know, the PST and that. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a, 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 a tricky uh one there with regards to crossing the border we usually like to try to keep uh uh we like to try to keep it uh, uh you know uh, um trying to source from uh you know if it's an alberta project sourcing from an alberta source if it's a saskatchewan pro project sourcing it from the saskatchewan source we have uh across the across the border in a couple of uh of situations there are some accounting things with regards to pst uh one of the bigger ones is more usually on on equipment um, if you're actually if you're actually taking equipment across the the border and actually doing work with equipment on one side or the other, there are PST uh, implications. But that's a great question, and and you know what we what we might do is actually take that away and and get you a bit better of an of an answer on that one. Perfect, perfect. And uh, and and one more, you know, it's it's the fancy, you know, you guys got a great system, great online system, traditional phone call. Um, you know, that side of approach, is that available to, to the members if it's, you know, maybe this is a little overwhelming at the start? Absolutely. Um, we, 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 in, uh, we want to engage with, uh, with the members as often as possible and however works best for them, whether it's via a phone call or over email, we, we're, we're always happy to engage. Yeah, and just to add to that, you know, what, we, what we're showing here is, is sort of uh, the future state of, of how a, a, a municipality will utilize this. They can use it, utilize it like this right off the bat where they can place their own orders. But you know what, we want to work with those, uh, with those members there to sort of bring them up to speed, get comfortable with, uh, with the application, get comfortable with us. And uh, we've got lots of we got lots of support here. So so we've got uh, Anthony, we've got Jen and a few other folks there that can help out with any of your uh, any of your questions, needs, and orders. Perfect. No, uh, that's great. Well, we uh, we got a quiet quiet group today. Usually we got a you know a handful of questions, but uh, um, maybe we'll wrap it up. Is there anything else you guys would like to touch on before we yeah. close it up? I was gonna I was gonna also show just how easy it is for a county to actually sign up for the to request uh, access to the RMA buying program. Um, so. Uh, I'm going to log out of this uh, demo account here. Um, and when you actually go to register, so this is the, this is our demo, but it'd be the same on like our actual live app. Uh, you just click register. And when you're actually registering for an account, all you need to do is you just need to click this button request RMA pricing program. And what that'll do is it'll notify us that you've actually requested the access to the buying program. It lets us know that we should be getting in contact with you to make sure that you get set up properly. Um, so that's all you need to do to actually request access when you're registering for an account um, as well. So it's quite easy and quite simple process to do that. Perfect. Looks good. Looks good, guys. Well, on that note, 
Um, thank you very much for, for hopping on today. Hopefully everybody you know who came in and participated with us, um, you know, found some benefit to it. And my rock chain is available, you know, at any time to, to meet your requests. Um, and again, and these are recorded. So if you, if you want to, you know, come back and watch certain parts, feel free to do so. So, all right. On that note, thank you, everybody.